Michael Darko here, and today we'll be looking at setting up belief on our system. So today we'll talk about setting up PHP, we'll look at setting up Composer, and then we'll install the Leaf CLI. So for those of you who don't know what the Leaf CLI is, it's just a quick way to get started with Leaf. It allows you to create leaf apps, um, no matter what kind of leaf app you are creating. Basic leaf apps, leaf MVC, leaf API. So those are more of like frameworks built on top of leaf. You can also interact with your leaf app. Um, in the case of leaf MVC and leaf API, you can do stuff like um, creating variables, um, uh, accessing your database and a lot from the leaf CLI. You can also install packages and uninstall them so basically stuff to get your app running and all of that comes pre-packaged with the leaf cli so it's basically just a powerful command line tool and you don't need to look anywhere else right so um obviously it's php so the first thing you need to do is to download php so you can always go with um something combined like ZAMP, WAMP, depending on your system. I always go with ZAMP. So you can just type in ZAMP download like this and you get to this page. So there is ZAMP for Windows, for Linux, for OS X, that's Mac. Um, different PHP versions, PHP 7.4, 8.0, 8.1. So whichever PHP version you want to go with. And the cool thing is Leaf works as far back as PHP 7.1, 7.2. So version support is very good with whichever PHP version you're using. And of course, the OS you're using as well. So you can just install this, you download this, but be sure to set your PHP path so that when you type PHP in your terminal, you get um, something. So for instance, I can just type PHP hyphen V and that's my PHP version right there, PHP 8.1. So um, be sure to set your PHP path because you would need that when you are going to install Composer. So let's talk about Composer next. Composer is a PHP dependency manager for PHP. So just like how we have NPM and PMPM and all those guys, we have Composer for PHP. So on the Composer page, that's getcomposer.org. You can just click on download and copy this command into your terminal. So you notice it's using PHP right here. For a simpler method, you can use Homebrew. Homebrew is a package manager for Mac and Linux. Um, Linux also has its own package manager if you prefer to use that. But Homebrew, you can simply type brew install composer um, on the brew website. You can search for composer and there we go. So as I said, you can type brew install composer and this will install composer and then set up the composer path for you. Right. So after that, you would be able to type in composer hyphen V and that'll give you your composer version. Right. So if you went about installing composer this way, you would need to set up your composer path so you can use composer all the instructions are on this page right here. So once that's out of the way, you'll be able to do this. So I'm going to deep dive into our terminal now. I'll just increase the size a bit. Okay. So now let's talk about leaf and leaf CLI. So when you go to the getting started page on leaf um, installation, we talk about both composer and the leaf CLI. So the leaf CLI, although has been there for a while, it recently got a revamp, which now makes it stand out. So you can now create apps from the leaf CLI and all that, which wasn't possible before. So before the main method of installation was with composer, so you can find everything you need to get your leaf app running here on this page with Composer. But we are not going to talk about this. We are going to focus on the leaf CLI. So let's 
So you can just click on this link and that will open up the Leaf CLI repo or just click on this to get to the documentation itself. Right. So basically, as I mentioned before, the Leaf CLI is just a command line tool, a utility that helps you create and manage your Leaf applications. That's all it does. It helps you create and then manage your Leaf applications. You can also do stuff like installing packages from Composer and a whole lot. So it's a very powerful command line utility. Just like any other PHP package, Leaf CLI is served on packages, so it can be installed through Composer. So you can just copy this and this particular command here installs Leaf CLI globally with Composer. So Composer global require Leaf CLI. And if you run this command, you notice it changes to your global directory and it uses version two. So version two, as I mentioned, is the new version of Leaf CLI, the revamp I mentioned earlier. I have nothing to install since I'm already running the latest version of Leaf CLI. So one thing to note is Leaf CLI will always keep itself up to date. As there's a new version, it will always update to that version before creating any new project. So that's that's how it works. So you don't need to worry about the new changes in Leaf CLI. It's always going to keep itself up to date. So basically, right now. After running this command, that's Composer Global Require Leaf slash CLI, it's going to install Leaf CLI into Composer's global directory. So you should have access to this Leaf command. But if you don't, that means that your Composer bin directory has not been registered in your system path. So there is a quick guide here how to set up this. These are um, the usually the paths composer bin is found in. So this is usually the case. So we have instructions for bash for ZSH and a whole lot. So you can just quickly add this in on Windows. You just copy up this and add it to your path. You can get a path by um, searching on the start menu like path and you'd have a dialog pop up where you can enter this. So after that, you would have access to the leaf command. So you can just quickly type leaf and you get this. So as of the time of recording, the latest version is version 2.0.7. So that's um seven releases after 2.0. Um, so as mentioned earlier, would be Creating a simple project will be generating a project using the Leaf CLI, and it's much simpler than using Composer or downloading a repo from GitHub or something. You can simply type your Leaf create and then the name of your app. It's literally that simple. So we'll not be going into the specifics in this video. We'll do that in the next video, but I'm just showing you how simple it is to create a Leaf application with the Leaf CLI. So you have your app name and the Leaf CLI will ask you to pick a preset. So Leaf is just basic Leaf, nothing added to it. We have Leaf MVC and Leaf API, which are well-structured frameworks that are built using Leaf as its core. So Leaf PHP is the core for Leaf MVC and Leaf API. Skeleton is also a structure, a well-structured project, but it's not a framework, it's just a boilerplate. So if you want something quick and simple to get started with Leaf, instead of just installing Leaf and you have a single file to get started with, you can go with Skeleton. So Skeleton gives you a structure, but it's not a framework, so you don't have all those framework constraints. So in this case, we'll just go with Leaf. So you enter the number, not like typing the word. So the next thing it asks you is the version. So currently, as you might know, the stable version three is not yet out. So it's the second release candidate, RC2. 
Version 2 is actually still supported, so you can just go ahead with version 2 if you prefer that. Or if you want to try out the new features, you can go with version 3. So um, you can choose whichever you prefer. I'll go with version 3. And it creates this, it installs dependencies, so you have leaf anchor exceptions, and those are some new stuff in leaf 3. And it installs all of this, and now you can see the into app name and then run the project with leaf self. So let's quickly do that. CD app name and then leaf self. And you notice it quickly starts a development server on localhost 5500. And we get this nice, beautiful page that says, Welcome to Leaf 3. So in the next couple of videos, we'll be looking at the code. We'll be looking at uh, how to set up Leaf with Composer or with GitHub and a lot more. Hope to see you in the next one.